for the purposes of this exercise, we're calling this the corset. Um, like the part that you already have, and we're calling this the bias tape. I know it's just a sheet of paper, and I know you're not using a sheet of paper, so... It's the bias tape. Okay, so the first step is you line it up. This is the pretty side, so that you know it's the pretty side. I will draw... Oh. Well, first of all, I'll make it so my phone falls down. And then I'll set it back up. And then, I will draw a lovely picture of this beautifulness. So this is the pretty side of the bias tape. And you put it down, making sure at the edge over here you have at least an inch of overhang. And then you pin it on. Da -da -da. And sing a song, of course, because what could be better than that? So you pin it down pretty to pretty. And then you go to your handy dandy sewing machine and you sew it all the way along at one half inch. Of course, back stitching. When I start sewing, my phone will probably fall down again, but I'll pick it up and we'll carry on. Alright, sewing. Okay, so you have it sewn at a half inch, and then what you do is you take it, and this is with an iron of course, because you're not using paper, and you press down the bias tape and you fold it around and you turn in the overhang that you had and press that down and then you fold the bias tape and press it down twice and you make it so that if you look on the side um, I actually sewed this at like 5 eighths of an inch, not a half, but when you look on the side, there's going to be like overhang there on the side, like on the back of the fabric and back of the bias tape, there's overhang, and you need it to be that way. And then on the front of the bias tape, there's this seam in between the fabric and the bias tape. So it's basically like I was doing it with my corset, and then of course you pin it. I don't have to because it's paper, so it's folded and it's going to stay. And then you sew exactly in that seam so that you don't have to, by hand, do a slip stitch the entire way down. So. Yeah, I knew my phone would fall again. Just a sec. Ugh. Stay. Stay precious. Okay. So, after you've sewn in the seam where the edge of the bias tape meets the fabric, you cut it off. And see, it's just in that seam there. But then on the back, because this overlapped, it caught the back. And so, then, your bias tape is on the fabric, and it's beautiful. And be sure you fold the edge in so that you get a nice corner, so it doesn't look all strange and creepy. Okay, that is about it. If you have any more questions, let me know. Goodbye, darling.